Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we have to chainsaw some trees down here in our little area on our homestead here. So I'm going to take you with us. This is not a safety video of how to. This is just be careful. It's very, very crucial to be very safe and do chainsawing at your own risk. So for safety gear here, I have a hard hat with protective ear wear and a visor that comes down over my face. I'm just wearing my standard hoodie. You can buy uh, chainsawing coats. I haven't done it yet because personally, I have never chainsawed in this area. I've never really found myself in a safety issue here. I've always found a safety here or on my legs. On my legs is called chainsaw chaps. And the easiest way to put it is if this chainsaw even touches this chap, there's carbon fiber in here that catches in this chainsaw and it'll stop the blade like that so that's why we use yml safety up here so we're going to fuel up the chainsaw here quick and oil it up and take you out to the trees so we can do some quick cutting i'm going to explain briefly how to please note this is not a video as in i'm an expert by any means i'm a very beginner Toppler. That's the easiest way to put it. I'm very beginner. Um, come with me while I fuel up the chainsaw and we're going to topple some trees and you're going to see some footage of cutting. So be very, very careful of using a chainsaw. This thing will cut a limb off of you or hurt you severely. Use at your own risk. Now this chainsaw uses very special oil in it plus gas very crucial you read the instructions on your chainsaw every chainsaw is different my chainsaw is a steel i have a great dealer by me that sells them and services them that's why i trust this company i by any means am i a person that promotes steel by any means it's just what i've got on hand and what service i get if i ever need help with this chainsaw chainsaw oil find it anywhere fill it up now what that does is keeps the chain lubricated and also helps uh, clean the chain as we go all right let's head back out to the trees so this tree here is dead um, it's sad that this happens, but these trees have been here well over 80 years. I can show you a tree ring if you wish to count. I just know for a factor that they've been here a very long time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a wedge on the front and you're gonna kind of see that. So that's gonna come in close with the camera and you're gonna see me make a wedge. And basically the whole point of a wedge as to basically direct the tree where you want it to go. It'll start shifting its weight forward to topple it. So my target goal is this path that I've already made a mess of. Now, I don't know if it's gonna happen because of the angle, but I'm gonna try extremely close just to lay it right down in there. So I'm not by any means good. My chances of actually doing this is extremely low. Knowing my luck, it's just gonna go where it wants. But safety reason, we're very safe around here. Steph's going to stand up close for the wedge cut. Once I'm done the wedge cut, I'm going to ask her to walk back. So you're going to see her watch back. So she's at a very safe distance. And then you'll see me come in on this side and just cut right across. This thing will go like this. I'm going to cut like this because if I ever have to drop this and run, I can do so. Very key, because sometimes these tree will, trees will kick back and kick you. Safety first.
That is why you always stand out of the way. You don't know which way they're gonna roll. Always have an escape route. So that's where Jeff wanted it to land. It was only off by eh, 10 feet maybe. <laughs> <laughs> 